We got an email from Peter in Brooklyn who says, when the Washington Post endorsed Hunter, it said he told the paper he would not try to change D.C.'s marriage equality law. But other reports suggest he would support efforts to put the law before voters, even though the Board of Ethics and the Elections has said that violates D.C. law. If the Post is right, why is the National Organization for Marriage working so hard on Hunter's behalf? If the Post is wrong and Hunter plans to try to reverse marriage equality, voters deserve to know that. Please ask him to tell us where he stands, Delano Hunter. Well, that's a great question, uh, and I welcome the opportunity to clarify my position. Uh, I believe in traditional marriage, you know, point blank. That's not something I'm going to waffle on. However, I do traditional believe that... Traditional marriage from what? From traditional marriage as it relates to uh, uh, being a defined as a, a, man a man and a woman. Because the initial marriage was, you know, you couldn't have interracial marriages. That was traditional. Mm-hmm. Just could just well, once again, same. what I'm speaking of is traditional marriage as it is understood and, and uh, uh, by most of the residents of our ward. However, uh, I do believe that individuals uh, ha- have right to certain, uh, have rights you know, as it relates to transferring property, as it relates to uh, uh, health care for, for partners. That's something that I do believe in. Uh, and as it relates to my stance, I, I would respect the laws as they are. I, I think what's important here... You would, uh, not, and, you would not try to put the issue before the voters. You would not try to reverse what the city council has done. You well, it, it's, it's you still in the process of going through the court. So I think it's important to let that process play out, uh, depending upon what the next steps are. Uh, after it's settled in the court, I will respect the laws of the land as they are. Uh, I think that one of the issues that, that we're missing is as it relates to the vote, the vote is indicative of folks who really want an opportunity to speak on this issue. Uh, this is a very uh, uh, a contentious issue within our ward, and it's something that I don't believe we had a lot of honest communication and dialogue. Those uh, opposed to uh, the vote say you cannot and should not be able to vote on people's rights. Mm-hmm. Do you think that the comparison that those people make on whether or not there should have been a vote to mm-hmm. allow black people to vote, to allow uh, desegregation, to allow African Americans to have their rights, would you have agreed to putting those things up to a vote? So w- w- one of the points I want to make is that that vote is indicative of individuals wanting to uh, have uh, express their opinions about it, in a sense. Like, let's say, for instance, I think that the vote is something that should be a last resort. If there's honest communications, one of the things that has disappointed me is that I've had the opportunity to have intimate conversations with both but with folks on both sides of this issue. And they're not even arguing about the same thing. I have talked with folks who are uh, who are pastors, and what they're saying is, hey, I have religious convictions that I want to be, that, that I want respected. However, I, I don't feel as if that we should deny rights to same-sex couples. And then when I talk to same-sex couples, it's about having uh, certain rights as it relates to transferring property, uh, hospital visitation, and, and any reasonable person uh, would not want to suppress uh, that right for an individual. I think what, what the question is here is have we explored what the common ground is? What is the best vehicle to bring about to make sure that folks have rights? So, you know, that's something that is a contentious issue within our ward and, once again, hasn't been really aired out. We haven't had honest dialogue. Is that, I, I think you, the true is, question... Uh, we got to be Mr. honest Thomas about speaking. this. The true question here is, are you willing to stand for everyone's rights and equality and understand the job you're going to take? And it is, it is clear in this answer here that, first of all, you don't even understand that there's a human rights law that prohibits anything being placed on the ballot in the first place. And secondly, did you meet with other individuals? This issue has been discussed in the District of Columbia for quite some time. It came before us in an earlier amendment when Mr. Mendelson put it before the council. Uh, and then it came before us in full measure, and I supported it because I, as a legislator, cannot deny any citizen full access to all rights in this city. That's what you do when you make laws from where I sit. That's what you have the, to stand the, the up for. The issue is more. Can I jump in for a second? Well, one, 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 one second. No, it's not more. It, 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 it is. One second. One at a time. I want to jump has been jump. said. It has been said that this is a contentious issue in the ward. Is it? And if so, which side of the contention do you come down on? Well, I fully, I fully support marriage equality. I have a civil rights. I have a civil rights background, and what I, I think. What I think that uh, Mr. Hunter quite doesn't understand is that you know folks who uh, support same-sex marriage uh, know that it's not simply about legal benefits. As a married man uh, to a beautiful wife, Princess McDuffie, I know that you know my marriage is one of the happiest days of my life, and so it's not simply about legal benefits. I don't think he quite grasps that understanding. Further, uh, I want to also say that um, you know, he said in his video that the National Organization for Marriage is advocating for traditional values and that residents have the right to vote. 
how do you reconcile, you know, and he said that he believes in that. So how do you reconcile the fact that you believe that there should be a right to vote with the fact that you said to the Washington Post that you would not seek to change the law? Those two things don't jive. And, I, you know, I think that he's speaking on both sides of his mouth right now. That's I think I only got 30 that's seconds of my minute, mm-hmm. and I want to answer this fully. You know, first of all, the law is a Religious Freedom and Marriage Equity Act. Secondly, this council member not only met with religious leaders— I go to Catholic church. My wife is Catholic. I'm a proud family person. But it had nothing to do with it. It had to do with giving people rights that they deserve under the law and protected by the law. And to sit here and and waffle when you're being funded by the National Organization of Marriage, when you're being funded by those initiatives, and you're being funded by hate and disparity in this city. That's a lie. That's a lie. I want to say, I have received $450 from the You will get a chance to respond, Mr. Hunt. And after you you respond, I want to bring this issue to an end so that we can move on. It has been alleged time and again during this discussion that while you say that you will obey the law, you have not said that you will not seek to overturn the law by having a vote. And he has I, said I would he would seek, overturn it. I would not he was seek dead to overturn. Their, he did say I would, that I would not so seek you changed to, your position. I would, no, that is the position that I've had. I would not seek to overturn that law. Okay, and we then, didn't uh-huh. hear from Mr. Turner, I think, on this issue. Mr. Turner, if you spoke, right. you were not loud enough. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm from marriage equality, and being out with talking to the uh, constituents, it, it is a, a small issue. They feel like they should have had some right to vote on it. But, I mean, just as Kojo said, you can't uh, vote on uh, civil rights for the um, under the Human Rights Act. Here is, you know, Mr. Mr. Here's Rosalind. Do I have an opportunity to? Here is Rosalind.